We're talking about tempo in that putting surface, Matt, and how you can create good tempo. So many of us, when we're standing over and we're hitting these putts, we're not thinking about the tempo of the stroke. If I have a fast tempo, I need the putter to move a slower distance. So if I'm going up to this hole here with a fast tempo, and I come through there, that's going to create a lot of pace to it. That was a very small swing. If I have a slow tempo, I can have a longer swing, and that's really the way I putt best, is with a longer swing and a, and a slower tempo. That's the rhythm that I have, and when you watch Justin Rose putt, that's the same thing. He's got that nice, smooth tempo, and that's how you control distance. So many times people are standing up here, and they're not paying attention to the rhythm of this putting stroke. What happens, what I want you to do is I want you to feel the rhythm in your elbows. So as your elbows are starting to move together, how would you move those so that the putter wouldn't flip? And as we get into a longer putt here, if we go over to this, this hole located over here, which is about 30 feet up the hill, you still want to create the same tempo. It'll take the same amount of time in the backswing and the strike to hit the ball this far as it will to hit it that far because the rhythm and tempo is the same. So when I go up that hill there, I'm feeling it in my elbows. Make the stroke. And you know what? I think I can finish that off pretty easily. That one's not going to test me. So when you're on that putting green, watch what's happening with Justin Rose. Try to mimic that same thing. Try to feel like your elbows are making that stroke instead of your wrists and your hands. And you're going to find your tempo is going to improve and your distance control is going to be much better.